My name is Amanda and today I have a very exciting video to share with you guys because today I will be talking about books that I desperately want to reread this year. So previously I haven't been much for rereading, but this year I really feel like rereading books that I haven't read in a long time or that are my favorites that I want to rediscover or just re-experience. I have five books here to talk about and all different reasons for why I want to reread these particular books. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first book I want to talk about is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and this is one of my all-time favorite books but I've only read it once. I have a full review of this book that I made kind of directly after finishing it the first time and I will leave a link to that in the description box but I really want to re-experience this because I really want to experience the full extent of the magic that's in this book and it's about a magical circus that only performs at night, hence the name, and it's also a love story and it's all about atmosphere and the writing is just stunning in this book from what I can remember because it was such a long time ago since I read it. This is just such an amazing story and I want to reread it so badly this year so it's definitely a top priority of mine. So the next book I want to reread is a classic that I read almost three years ago now and I really really enjoyed it and it was before I really got into the genre of classics and therefore I feel like there's so much more to experience with this book and it is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. This is a novel about the Great Depression in America and we follow two main characters as they try to find a job and they work on a farm. I really really enjoyed the story, it wasn't that hard to read at the time and I feel like I can just take so much more from this story if I reread it. And I also want to read more of John Steinbeck's novels so I thought that starting with this one once again and then venturing further into his literature then I thought that would be a great way to do that basically. The next book on this list is the fantasy novel that has been getting quite a lot of hype on booktube recently and that is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss and I adore this novel. It's fantasy, it's really really complex and really interesting and I read it two years ago almost and I really really enjoyed it but I haven't gone on to read The Wise Man's Fear which is the second book so I thought that I want to read The Wise Man's Fear this year but I need to refresh my memory and reread this one first and then venture into the world of The Wise Man's Fear. And I'm so excited to reread this book because I just remember so vividly that I loved it and the characters are just so interesting and we follow the main character Quoth as he retells his story to a chronicler and he has done all sorts of magic things throughout his young life and he went to a university of magic and things like that and I can't remember too much about it since it was such a long time that I read it and I'm so excited to reread it. The next book on this list is a book that I remember so vividly loving. I read it in 2014 during the Booktubeathon and it is Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Safran Foer and I love this book so much but I gave it only four stars because I felt like I wasn't getting the entire experience because I didn't quite understand it at the time. It was one of the first more non-YA books that I read and I felt like I didn't really experience it in the right way or I didn't really get the most of it so I saved that last final star for when I was going to reread it and this year it will happen. It's such a fantastic novel and we follow a young boy whose father dies in the 9-11 terrorist attack and he goes on an adventure to find the lock to a key or a key to a lock. I can't even remember but it's a great adventure and he meets so many new friends and it's a lovely story. It's beautifully written and I can't wait to reread it this year. So the final book I'm going to talk about today is another book that I don't own but I really want to buy as soon as possible and that is I Am The Messenger by Marcus Suzak. I love Marcus Suzak. The Book Thief is probably my favorite book of all time and I Am The Messenger is also a really incredible novel. I haven't read it in four years I would say and I feel like I could take so much more from the story if I reread it. We're doing The Book Thief in my English IB course and rereading it and rereading it and rereading it just reminded me of how much I love Marcus Suzak's writing and that made me want to reread I Am The Messenger so badly because he's just such an amazing 
author. And from the few little glimpses that I remember from I Am The Messenger, that book is also really incredible. So that was pretty much all the books that I was going to talk about today. I hope you have some really nice plan for Easter. We are going into Easter break now. I don't know if you have spring break or however it works around the world, but we have a week off and me and my friend are going to Edinburgh for the open house day, visiting day for the university there. And it's gonna be so much fun, just some time off studying and hopefully I will get some reading done because this week, this previous week has been quite crappy with reading to be honest, but moving forward. I hope this week is gonna be amazing. I hope you have a lovely time and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.